Aha, dinky doomy hearties, a very, very good morning to you. It's just me, Scotty McClue. And welcome, welcome, I say, to our morning pop-up. This is the Red Eye. It's just gone quarter past six on the morning of Wednesday, Wednesday the 4th of April. Sorry, Wednesday the 4th of May. We've moved on a month. How amazing is that? Wednesday the 4th of May. 2022 and a very very warm welcome to every single one of you great that you can join us at this time in the morning worldwide right across the world and this is tiktok's top talk show i am hashtag floatai the first lord of the internet scotty McClure, known to two billion people worldwide fantastic stuff so let everybody know Dinky Doo, Scotty McClue is ready for you, and you can respond. Send me your chat. Remember never ever to troll, of course, or you'll just get a lifetime ban straight down the swanee. And we don't want that, do we? My goodness, we know. Follow me as soon as you come on as well, of course. Very, very important. So when you see this, think to yourself, aha, there he is, uh, Scotty McClue. I shall follow him right away. Fantastic. That's lovely. And let me know there's Lee joining us. Good morning, Lee. There's Sean. Morning, Sean. Lovely to have you with us. Never scroll, never troll. And Random has joined us. Big Up has joined us. Ian has joined us. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Lovely to have you with us. And a very big dinky do to every single one of you. Fantastic. Now, the time gone 17 minutes past six. So a lot of you will just be getting up, waking up. Oh. <sighs> Who on earth is this at this time in the morning? Thank you very much. Not at all, Abdu. Lovely to have you with us and a big dinky do. Hi from Rutledge. We like Rutledge, Jeff. Where exactly are you in Rutledge? Do tell us a little bit more. Not exactly where are you, but just roughly where you are in Rutledge. Fantastic. Hi. Hi, Shelby. Excellent stuff. And a very, very warm welcome to Scotty McClure's Red Eye pop-up in the morning in the United Kingdom. Hi from East Kilbride. Davey, lovely to have you with us from East Kilbride. We love East Kilbride. Fantastic. Morning. Morning, Adil. Uh, hello from Pakistan, says Abduk. dinky do Abduk. We love you in Pakistan, love to Pakistan, and share and follow right away, Abduk. You are with us now. Follow us as soon as you can. Thank you, Shelby. Lol, it's 3.18 p.m. I'm in Melbourne in Australia. So 3.18, so 18 minutes past three in the afternoon, Taylor. How lovely to have you with us from Melbourne in Australia, down under. Fantastic at this time. Make sure everyone in Australia knows about Scotty McClure on TikTok. Get them listening, I say. Fair do, Cobba. There we are. I'm 20 miles east of Knoxville. Oh, fantastic, Jeff. We've got you now. Tremendous stuff. Thank you for that. Follow us, guys, as soon as you possibly can. Morning. Morning, Baddy 902. Yeah. Yeah, Baddy. Dinky do and welcome, I say to you. Excellent stuff. Who else have we got? Come and join us. Hi from London. Susan, how lovely to have you with us from London. Dinky do. Get following, guys. Alison, thank you for following. Happening. Good morning from Stevenson. Ken, good morning, Stevenson. Lovely that you could join us and a very, very warm welcome. We're only up for a few minutes, of course, because uh, I'm so maxed at the moment getting time to do the lives is what it's all about, I say to you. Hi, Susan. Great that you're about with us. Uh, thank you for sharing the live, Taylor. Very, very important. Everybody watching, get sharing, please, and follow me as soon as you can. I've got 300 likes. What's the country of England like? I've always wanted to visit, but my family doesn't have a lot. Abduk, the county of England, is actually... Um, outstanding. The country of England, I should say, is outstanding, and you would love it. It's only about a 100 miles south of where I'm sitting in Scotland. Scotland, of course, is also stunningly beautiful, and you would love that as well. Hi, Scotty, says Leslie. It's 1.20 a.m. in Maryland. Yeah, but we love you in Maryland. So if you're up late in Maryland, TikTok, Scotty McClue is the one for you. Uh, 
Satan says, do you own a pub? No, I have worked in a pub in my day, but uh, I don't own one at the moment. So there we are. And I don't think I, I would want to own one now, to be honest with you. I uh, love the Dinky Doo slogan, a deal Dinky Doo, 30 years old in June. Scotty McClue is Dinky Doo. Have you ever been to the Isle of Mull, Davy? Whereabouts in the Isle of Mull? I know the Isle of Mull like the back of my hand. Tobermory. Uh, yes, I used to play down at the steps at the pier when the wee loch buoy came in opposite the Mishnish. So there you are, Dervig, Loch Screed, and just down the south, Loch Buoy, Salon. There we are, the Greben Rocks. I can tell you all about that. 300, uh, too many, 300, what too many, Alistair? Uh, good morning, good morning, Alison. How lovely to have you with us. And a big dinky do from Scotty McClue, live on TikTok, just for you. Uh, wonderful stuff. Morning, Scotty. Morning, Ross. Lovely to have you with us. Welcome, welcome to everybody who's able to join us this morning on the TikTok. Uh, there we are. You ever visited the great Catty in your country? Leslie, what's the great Catty? Is that a misspell? You'll have to tell us more. Uh, so lots of you joining us. Fantastic. Share as often as you can. I used to listen to you on Hallam FM, says Mickey. Mickey, what an outstanding radio station, Hallam FM. Fantastic. I love it. And uh, I would go back there in a heartbeat and talk to all you gorgeous people from Sheffield and Doncaster and Drumfelt and Ah, tremendous. Scotty, what's good for a hangover, if you don't mind me asking? Ross, best cure for a hangover is uh, I am an expert on this. Give up the drink. I gave it up seven years ago. Never had a hangover since. Tremendous. Great cure. Barnsley, the drop bombs. Absolutely, Barnsley. Yes, yes, I should, of course, have mentioned Barnsley right away in uh, South Yorkshire. What a beautiful, beautiful county. What a beautiful place. In fact, it was May Day the other day. Yes, uh, the 1st of May on Sunday. And I can remember going to meet Tony Benn in Barnsley at the park. What's the park that you've got just up there? You can go to the bottom of the wall and look over to Wentworth Castle. There we are. What's your favourite football team? Oh, Abdul, I've got so many. So many favourite football teams. I tried, but a night in Sheffield took over. Ah, Ross, a night in Sheffield, I know it well. Uh, is Barnsley racist? No, no one's racist. No one's racist. There is only one race, and that's the human race. Fantastic stuff. Did you do, I say to you, no, Barnsley's Barnsley. And you'll get people of all races, creeds, and colours in Barnsley. I can tell you, it's fantastic. Uh, so that's uh, what it's all about. Kian Dinky Doo, lovely to have you with us. Thank you for all these likes. I've got 1,800 likes, guys. Now, that's pretty amazing for the World Stop Broadcaster. First thing in the morning on TikTok Live. You're all up and about at 6 minutes 24. There we are. Sorry, 6.24, 24 minutes past 6 at this time in the morning. Amazing. Follow us as soon as you can. Thanks, Andy. Very much appreciated. Get the followers going, guys. If you're watching right now, click follow, top left, uh, the plus sign. 2,000 likes. Who's sending me all these wonderful likes at this time in the morning? How amazing is that? Follow us as soon as you can. Thank you, Mickey. Tremendous. Mr. Mickey Blue Eyes has just followed Scotty McClure. What a thoroughly decent human being. So kind of you. So there we are. Branzuk, you're on the wrong thing. You have to go on to the idiots live. So Branzuk, we're going to give him a lifetime ban for just being a half-witted idiot and blowing his chances of being on TikTok's top talk show because he is a clown. Bye, bye, Branzuk. <laughs> what an idiot. There he goes. There he goes. Doing the swanee. Lovely. That'll teach him. Uh, what have I done? You've been very rude. Very rude, Branzuk. You'll never be rude. The legend that is Scotty McClure, Mr. Mickey Blue Eyes. Absolutely. Bye-bye, Branzuk. There he is. They need to learn. Trolls need to learn. We're not interested in their bodily functions.
There we are. Have that. Fantastic. And Dell's laughing. Our head off. Come on, you Rangers. Absolutely, Colicotto. Come on, the Rangers, and come on, the hoops, in the interests of balance. We like to have a nice balanced show on here. So come on, the Rangers, come on, the hoops. You look like the cool dad, and that lets you drink beer. Sonic the Hoot Hog, I don't drink alcohol at all. I drink Scottish water. Charles. Mmm. Oh, that's absolutely lush. We love that. If you've just joined us, get following, guys. Make sure you've followed Scotty McClue. First rule of the internet, everybody with an internet connection should follow Scotty McClue. We're just heading for 3,000 likes. Fantastic stuff. Uh, so many memories hearing your voice. I used to listen to your phone in. Ah, Mickey, was that not the phone-in from phone-ins? It's tremendous. Scotty McClue's phone-ins have been outstanding for 30 years. Can you believe it? There we are. And uh, there's some new stations opening up. They haven't been in touch yet, but they should be in touch with Scotty McClue because they're talk stations. Yeah, and I think I'm the only actual talk broadcaster that knows how to make that industry work. I uh, hope Rangers do it on Thursday. Yep, absolutely. And uh, I'm on the hoops, I say. Can I bring the phones back soon? Ross, yes, we actually do a phone in on the internet. If you go to the YouTube channel and you'll see the URL at the top of my bio, then um, you can subscribe and join us for the internet phone in. Outstanding. Funniest phone in ever was. Oh, Mickey, was that not funny? Was it funny or was it funny? Hey, I ain't got a drop bottom. Don't be ridiculous, love. You'd make a good burglar. Your backside would wipe out footprints. <laughs> we used to give it all that. Thank you. I miss them in this. Dinky do Ross. Yes, absolutely. The TikTok is really just to get a worldwide chat with everybody. And the one we're doing right now is the red eye, first thing in the morning. People are obviously dashing in the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Northern Ireland to get to their work, Scotland, England, Ireland, and Wales. But we are worldwide, and that's what's lovely. Like a gentleman watching right now from Pakistan, a gentleman watching in Maryland in the USA. I've got 7% of my audience are American. The Americans love it, but right now it's about half past one in the morning. So they're a wee bit dischuffed with that. Now there's Heidiq. What nonsense you're talking about today. The other day it was the Royal Family. Heidiq, remember we never, ever, 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 ever talk nonsense on Scotty McClure. So if I was talking about the Royal Family, it would be to inform the idiots who are non-royalists for some strange reason Yep, just exactly what really is happening. I'm in Greece and Corfu, Mickey, Yasu, Yasu, Calamera, Calamera, Corfu. How lovely to have you with us. Good morning. Morning, Peter, you're in. There we are. So, Heidi, remember, McClue never talks nonsense. Fantastic. Do you remember a presenter on Scottish radio? Do you know where he is? Andy, uh, we fat Bob, I haven't a clue. The last time I saw We Fat Bob was um, when he left Scott FM. Well, I didn't even see him there the last time I heard of him. Uh, so there we are. I hope the Queen hangs in there. We love her in America. Leslie, do you know that America wanted its own king after the War of Independence in 1776? And they invited Bonnie Prince Charlie, the Scotsman, Stuart, to be their king. Just amazing. There you are. Yasu to you, Sir Scotty. Yasu, Mr. Mickey. Calamera, Calamera. Fantastic. Lovely to have you with us. 3,600 likes. You people are beautiful. Fantastic. Heather's just joined us. Follow us as soon as you come on, guys. We've got another few minutes uh, just popping up to say hi to every single one of you. Absolutely. Uh, good one, Leslie. I know America loves the monarchy because America would like its own monarchy, even to this day. I think you've got a king there, and I think you've got a king in Donald Trump. Yeah, I know some of you might disagree, but Trump is your man. Follow us, guys. He got a bad press because they ganged up against him because he's too good for America. He makes America too great and too powerful. 
And uh, that panics people. They tried to make George Washington king. He said no. Well, so did Bonnie Prince Charlie. Bonnie Prince Charlie said no because he was elderly. He died in 1786, 10 years later. And uh, that sort of thing. I think so. Love Trump or oh, Leslie. Everybody loves the Donald. Let's have it straight. I mean, take a look at the two. Take a look at the Donald. Take a look at Uncle Joe and think, what was that election all about? Were we really thinking, you know? Uh, so there we are. So I think you'll find that Donald will be back with you in a couple of years' time and will effectively save the world from what's going on. Trump speaks the truth. He does, Leslie. Absolutely. Yes, he does. He is a truth talker. And in fact, I had that on very, very good authority. Somebody had analyzed everything Donald says, and he speaks the truth. There you go. Double shots, absolutely. Yep. I like Trump's or silver shoes. Yes, absolutely. Tell us if you're a Trumpian, guys. If you're watching Scotty McClue right now, and you're a big fan of the Donald, do pop it down right down. I am a fan of Donald Trump. And uh, let's just see. Is it facts or opinions you always make? Always facts, Heidi. Always facts. That's why. Do you know what I mean? I can give you an opinion on certain things, but I don't waste my time uh, giving you opinions if I can give you facts. And then you can learn from McClure. Information, education, entertainment. My trademark over 30 years, 2 billion people are familiar with Scotty McClure. If Trump was in power now, Russia would not be at war. Certainly correct silver shoes. That would have stopped right away. Donald would have stopped it. Hello, it's Mr. Dean with a banjo on his knee. Yes, have you come from Alabama, Mr. Dean? Dean from Alabama. What's up, Scotty? I've missed you. Dean, lovely to have you with us from Alabama, where we've all come from with a banjo on our knee. Oh, Susanna. Why won't you marry me? Because I've come from Alabama with my banjo on my knee. Silver shoes. Thank you for my beautiful gifts of red roses. How are you doing, Scotty? Didn't you do the governor? Fantastic. Just became a top viewer. Fantastic. That's what it's all about. Follow us, guys, as soon as you can. Didn't you do King Wolf? Lovely to have you with us and Dinky Doo. Scotty McClue, first thing in the morning, saying Dinky Doo to every single one of you. We're only up for a few more minutes, so make sure that you are in there, that you've followed us. Uh, send us likes. You can send us TikToks. Silver Shoes has just sent seven red roses. Isn't that beautiful? A strong American president like Trump kept crazy leaders from pushing everyone around. Leslie, Trump's your man. And he's still your man. I think that man will save the world. Leslie's sending me beautiful TikToks. Thank you, Leslie. Appreciated. Two beautiful donuts. I'll have them for my breakfast on here. We love it. In fact, I'm going to come to America and have breakfast. Well said, Leslie, said Silver Shoes. Guys, if you're a Trump fan, do tell us on here. Fantastic. We like to know. Uh, follow us as soon as you can. Thank you, D132. Guys, everybody watching, please get following as soon as you possibly can because uh, uh, it's very, very important. Mr. Mickey, thank you for my 4,000 likes. Wow, 4,000 likes. Guys, how many TikTok hosts get that first thing in the morning in the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Northern Ireland? popping up to say hi to the world. How amazing is that? Thank you for following D132. You're a thoroughly decent human being. Everyone with an internet connection should be joining us on TikTok right now and should be following Scotty McClue. There we are. Scotty, are you married? Dean, don't be ridiculous. Who would have me? There we are. Colorado Springs. Howdy, brother. Howdy, howdy, Leo in Colorado Springs. We love you. We love you guys. Fantastic. Do join us as soon as you can. Druzy boy, dinky do. Lovely to have you with us. Thank you for all the likes. 4,200 likes. How good is that? We've only got another few minutes, guys, and then I have to disappear into the day or disappear into the night if you're in America. Trump would have been in a plane to Russia. The war would not have happened. Silver Shoes, you're absolutely right. 
Yeah, Trump would have saved us all this bother just by a phone call. Vladimir, Vladimir, you've got to listen, son. There we are. Let me come over and we'll uh, we'll sort this. There we are. That's the Donald for you. But then Donald knows how the world actually works. And it's not necessarily the way the mainstream media would like you to think it does. And Donald became a victim of uh, of uh, the uh, the poison pen from the newspapers. There we are. Putin's always been scared of Trump. No, I don't think he's scared of Trump, actually, at all. I think he just values Trump's honesty. I think that's what it is. I think the straight talking makes him think, you've got a point there, Don. You've sure got a point there. Absolutely. So there you have it. Fantastic. Um, I think everybody, I think nobody um, would ever threaten uh, America if Trump is in charge, you know. All right, you are. I wish I could sit down and have a good chat with your silver shoes. You can join us on the phone and you'll see my YouTube channel. The URL is right on my TikTok bio. Get yourselves onto that. Fantastic. You wouldn't have stopped it. It made sure it wouldn't affect NATO. Oh, absolutely. Trump's the only president who's not gone to war. No, because he understands that war's not the answer to anything. And Vladimir should know that as well. We've tried war. We tried World War I. We then tried World War II because we hadn't quite got the message. Check out my TikToks. Look for me speaking to the world leaders directly. They're all educated now. They didn't used to be educated. The Kaiser was not particularly well educated. The king eh, was not particularly well educated. The British king, you know, all these people. The Tsar wasn't particularly well educated. Nikki in Russia, bless him, poor soul. So, uh, you know, all these people. But nowadays, your world leaders have had a good education. So they know what's what. Uh, could not be, uh, could be, but Putin knows not to mess with Trump. A war with Trump wouldn't go well. The man's dangerous. Well, he's only dangerous in that he tells everybody the truth. The truth is usually the first casualty of war, and I think it probably has been already. But Donald's still telling the truth. I mean, he goes to these huge, huge rallies where people queue all night just to hear the man speak. <clears throat> I don't see that happening with uh, with Uncle Joel. The silver shoes, we don't go into claims like that. Uh, so there we are. Uh, so, I, so I'm sorry about that, but there you go. We don't go into that on the media um, because uh, you've got to watch making outrageous claims. Otherwise, they'll just shut you down. And that's not good. Making Biden president was a bad decision. I think America knows that. What's your club, Scotty? I have uh, a number of clubs, but I have a big London club right in the West End and St. James's Street. So there you are. That's my club. Wonderful stuff. Dinky do, everybody. Lovely to have you with us. And dinky do, if you've just joined us, you're watching Scotty McClue, the world's top broadcaster, the first lord of the internet. We're live on TikTok. Follow me as soon as you come on. I've got four and a half thousand likes. The truth is what works best. Joe says one thing, then somebody says, then says another thing. I know, Leslie, I mean, I'm afraid, I don't think anybody's actually listening to Joe. I think that's the, that's the fact of the matter where everybody's listening to the Donald. Yeah, so yeah, Trump is your man. Uh, so what have you got, guys? Dinky do. Let's hear from you. Chronic Christmas has just joined us. If you're just joining us, a very, very warm welcome. Never scroll, never troll. Any trolls just go straight down the swanee. Fantastic. Joe doesn't even know he's president. Silver shoes. Could be. Yes. Dinky do, dinky do, everybody. Lovely to have you with us. Uh, time for him to retire, says Ahmed. Ahmed, you may well. Have a very good point. Time for Joe to retire. Uh, follow us, guys. Dinky-doo, how's your leaders doing there? 
Uh, not great, Leslie, to be absolutely honest with you. Everybody's a bit scummered because during the pandemic, they misbehaved terribly. So I'm afraid <whistles> there are Scotland's doing all right. What did you look like when you were young? Uh, let me just show you. There you go. There's me when I was young. What do you think? Okay, do you like that one, guys? Fantastic. Uh, that's what I looked like when I was young. I'm still young. I'm 34. Hello, Scotty. You having a good day? I just had a very, very tough paper round in the mornings, you know. We're having a great day. We're going to have to go through. Scotty, is Scott Rail being nationalised a good thing? I would think so. This country, when I say this country, I mean the four countries that make up the United Kingdom, suffered dreadfully under a man called Dr. Beeching in the early 1960s who absolutely decimated and damaged the railways because he was deluded that because they weren't all profitable, we could do without them. Now, this has caused something like 60 years, almost 60 years of damage to the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Northern Ireland. And uh, uh, that damage is very, very slowly being repaired, very slowly, because the railways, you could walk a few steps in Scotland and get on a train, and they were all interconnected, and they were interconnected with the steamships that could take you all round the West Coast and the Outer Islands. Just absolutely an outstanding network, and that was ruined by a conservative government in the 60s. Huge vandalism. There we are. There's lots of old railway lines around Edinburgh abandoned, turned into psychopaths. Well, restart them. Get uh, stop at stations like Joppa. Uh, the Highland clearances, absolutely silver shoes. That's how you got most people in America and Canada. Very handsome young man. Thank you, silver shoes. Top of the line. Thank you, Leslie. Like a doctor. Scotty, uh, so there you have it. So nationalizing the railways in Scotland, provided the government are on their metal, we could do very, very well. I think the railways should be nationalist, uh, nationalized throughout the United Kingdom, Scotland, England, Northern Ireland, and Wales. Uh, fantastic. Thank you, do. There's a rat man. Rat man has just joined us. Thank you, do, rat man. How lovely to have you with us and a very warm welcome. Fair point, fair point, Grind. Absolutely. So uh, do you know what I mean? Government uh, in those days did terrific damage. And then Margaret Thatcher, of course, just completely sucked the life out of the UK and sent all the money to London because London itself doesn't have any money. The money is in the city of London which is effectively not even part of the UK. The Queen has to have an invitation to go to the City of London. Uh, I agree, being back the trains at a fair price for travel. Well, I used to go to school for about four years on a steam train. And I remember paying tuppence for a single and fourpence for a return. So that was four old D. So I paid less than 2p, less than two Great British pence to travel, return to school, less than two pence. That's quite good, isn't it? Margaret Thatcher, the milk snatcher, absolutely scouse taser. Lovely to have you with us, scouse. Great stuff. Never been on a train, always wanted to go. Yes, I remember old money, silver shoes. You must be a little bit older than you make out. Nearly 5,000 likes, guys. You people are beautiful. Thank you for all your gifts. Remember to follow Scotty McClure as soon as you come on. The way the UK is with poverty now, if Princess Diana was still here, poverty wouldn't be known. Governor, I think you've got a point there. Yeah, I believe that. Yes, I'm 64. Silver shoes. Yes, your age is with McClure. How good is that? A good drop of Scottish water to you all. Dinky do.
Fantastic. Follow us as soon as you can, guys. Have a nice day, Scott. He got to get to work. Scouse Taser, we love the bones of you. Look after yourself. Look after your sin. <laughs> Dinky do. We love our Scousers. Amazing. Amazing. Absolutely tremendous. Amazing. 5,300 likes. Lovely to have you all with us. If you've just joined us, good morning. Fantastic. You're watching Scotty McClue. First Lord of the Internet and the world's top broadcaster, just for you saying dinky do. We'll stay up for a few more minutes, guys, just to say hi. Uh, morning, Scotty lad. Morning, Abduk. How lovely to have you with us, lad. And dinky do to you, I say. Silver Shoes, the centre's likes were up to 5,700 likes. That's amazing. Welcome, welcome, welcome to Scotty McClure, live on TikTok, just for you, saying dinky do. This like, how good is that? Tremendous. Wonderful stuff. Now then, who else have we got there? Fantastic. Uh, you've got 240 pennies, uh, penny dainties for a pound, yes. 240 toffees for a pound. Although nobody had a pound, you had a Saturday sixpence. That was your pocket money for the week, two and a half P. 6,100 likes. Take it easy, Scotty, have a day. great day. God bless you. The Governor, lovely to have you with us. And dinky do to you, I say. Tremendous love to all you beautiful TikTokers. You're great people. What do you think of our ridiculous Boris Johnson? Well, what I would say to you, Kata, is a Kate, I should say. Kate, Kate. Kate, what I would say to you is look at my TikTok videos. Guys, all of you look at the TikTok videos and share them. Sixpence pocket money. It's a lot of money, absolutely. What's a pound equivalent to now, though? 100 new pence. And you don't get much for a pound, really. A pound, nobody bothers. A pound's nothing. If you dropped it, I doubt you'd pick it up. I would. I would. I'd pick up a penny if I dropped it. So there you have it. But, uh, you know, that's what it's about. Boris is a clone. Well, you'll see what I think of Boris. Um, you know, I mean, I don't want I don't want the, the blame for this, but I suggested Boris to very, very senior people in the Tory party 25 years ago. You'll see it in the TikTok video. I'll not spoil it for you. We're not in the business of spoiling the end of TikTok videos by Scotty McClue. Boris is a clone, says Silver Shoes. A clone of what? There we are. I ask you. Follow us as soon as you can, guys. Everybody should be following Scotty McClue. It should be a natural state of mind on the internet. You see the name Scotty McClue. You immediately follow or you subscribe to the YouTube channel as well. There we are. Fantastic. You'll see the URL. The, the link to the YouTube channel is on my TikTok bio. So look at my TikTok bio. Get yourselves on Scotty McClure's YouTube channel. That's when we do the phone-ins. Follow us as soon as you can, guys. Thank you, the governor. Appreciate it. You're one of my favorite people, Nevada Blues. We, you're one of my favorite people. We love having you on here. Thank you, Nevada Blues. Absolute top, 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 top person. That's what it's all about. Uh, Bike Hippos joined us. Mick 806 has joined us. A very good morning to all you beautiful people. We're going to have to go soon, guys. Uh, fantastic. Thank you, Blacksmith Dan. Dinky do to you. Lovely to have you with us. And a very, very, very warm welcome. To everybody who's joined us live on the TikTok Live, get sharing, guys, as soon as you can, and tell everybody that Scotty McClue is live on TikTok. So if you're watching right now, press share and get that round there. Uh, there we are. A type of buffoon, not a buffoon, Bobby, a buffoon, B-U-F-F-O-O-N, buffoon, into a thesaurus. And take your choice for a Boris. Absolutely. So not baffoon, folks. Buffoon. There we are. Dinky do. Groint. Dinky do. I say to you, groints. Groints. Yeah, groints. Fantastic. Where are you from again? Groints. And we'll see if we can speak your language. 
We are, are you from Germany with a name like Grinks? <laughs> Follow us as soon as you can, guys. You're watching Scotty McClure. It's first thing in the morning. This is the red eye. This is the big one that everyone's watching and everyone's talking about. Fantastic. I'm nearly at 7,000 likes, guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And thank you for my TikTok, my lovely TikTok gifts. Sounds like a poem. Groints. Yes, groints. Fantastic. Dinky do. Now, uh, what have we got here? We've got lots of you joining us. Thank you, Stuart. Good morning. Lovely to have you with us. And a big dinky do from Scotty McClure to every single one of you. How fantastic is this? We love it. Uh, there we have it. Thank you, Philip. Thank you for sending me likes. Guys, I'm at 7,200 likes. Tap, tap, tapity, tap. Tapity, tapity, tap. I wonder if we could make 10,000 likes before we go this morning. Just as a well wish to Scotty McClue. Dinky do from Phil to you. Phil, that is lovely. Lovely to have you with us. Fantastic. And I see you're supporting the NHS as well. That's brilliant. Thank you for all these lovely, lovely hearts, guys. We're at 7,700. We're actually being very, very ambitious. We're going for 10,000 likes. Can we get it? Can we get 10,000 likes on a Scotty McClue Live? The most I've had is 41,000 for one hour on a Sunday lunchtime. 41,000 likes. That's how popular Scotty McClure is. What's the meaning of Dinky Doo? Is it just a saying, no, the governor? Dinky Doo is Scotty McClure's catchphrase. Two billion people in the world know Dinky Doo and Scotty McClure. 30 years I've been using it, and it means is all well with you and the world. Claire Carter, thank you for my beautiful red rose. We love it. We absolutely love it. Claire, you've just become a top three viewer. How about that for a beautiful red rose? We love it. Thank you. 9,100 likes, guys. We're going to make it. If every single one of you goes tap, 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 we're going to make 10,000 likes. And then I promise you, I will go. <laughs> I'm only 23. God, still young. Ah, the governor. So I was broadcasting Dinky Do seven years before you were born. How amazing is that? Share it, Governor. Follow me. Get the word out there. 23 is very much an average age for viewers of Scotty McClure's TikTok. I've always had a huge youth following. 10,000 likes. 10,000 likes. How amazing is that? Thank you very much. Thank you, you beautiful people. 10,100. Guys, how have you done that? That's outstanding. 10K. Hurrah, Silver Shoes. I think that you were behind that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Silver Shoes. Tremendous. Josh Randall's followed us. Silver Shoes has sent me a gift. A beautiful heart. Thank you, Silver Shoes. We are celebrating. And in fact, <laughs> my finger sore, says Nevada Blues. Nevada Blues, you were behind that as well. We love you. Thank you, guys. That's so kind of you. Silver Shoes just became a top one viewer. How amazing is that? Uh, Phil Johnson has sent me a football. And uh, you'll become a top viewer as well, Phil. What time do you start your broadcast? Silver Shoes at 9 o'clock on a Saturday night for the phone-in on the YouTube channel. Uh, usually we do an evening pop-up with TikTok, sometimes morning like this one, and we call this the early bird, the red-eye pop-up. Uh, that's what it's about. Do you have any Hogmanay traditions you do? Yes, Grimes. Scotty McClue, every year, does the Scotty McClue Hogmanay bash we have for 30 years. And that is the premier Hogmanay program in the world. It's just me sitting up talking to you and you can phone me. And everybody loves the Scotty McClue Hogmanay bash. That's one of the reasons two billion people have heard of Scotty McClue. 
How amazing is that? Top of the morning to Sir God bless you. But another fire from the United States. I had my Pokemon tap finger tapping, Leslie. You're very, very kind. So there we go, grunts. Guys, we've only got another four minutes, then we have to go. Sounds good. Oh, grunts, it's amazing. You'd love it. You'll see it on the TikTok videos. Uh, if you could go back in time, where would you go? Um, I might go back to interview Jesus on television in Palestine. Palestinian television interview with Jesus. And then we might move on to Israeli television and then come to America, you know? Fantastic. In fact, I might ask Jesus if I could be his agent and we'd do a two-header. Do you see what I mean? My husband was a Highlander man at Fort Augustus. My late husband was a Highlandman from Fort Augustus. Silver shoes, amazing. Um, a three-hour discussion about Stovies and Scott FM in the early Dinky Doo days, Bobby Bear's Den. You're absolutely we're still discussing it. It wasn't just three hours, it's that It's a 30-year discussion on Stovies. Is there meat in Stovies? Please send me good vibes for me and my family. We're going through a rough time. Good for us, fam. I am sending you so much love and so much luck from the universe. Yeah, from the universe. Scotty, what tartans your cap? We think it's Black Watch. There we are. Thank you, my friend. Not at all good for us. Lovely things are about to happen. Remember, as you'll see on my TikTok video, it often gets darkest just before the dawn. All right, my darlings. There you have it. Thank you very much. Everybody have a beautiful, beautiful day. Remember, you people deserve the very best of. Remember to stay fabulous. All right. Remember to watch every single Scotty McClue TikTok video. Like it and share it and tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 about Scotty McClue live on TikTok just for you saying dinky do. I think that's important. Do you like whiskey, Scotty? Governor, I don't drink alcohol now, but I'm an expert on whiskey. I can tell you every whiskey. And I used to enjoy a wee drachm, a wee dram, a jochen doris. Hope to see you later. I hope so, Leslie. There we are, sir. Favourite whiskies. I wouldn't be so base as to advertise live on TikTok, but I can tell you. Uh, see you, Scotty. See you, Nevada Blues. Take great care of your dear self. Stay fabulous, as we say. Did you do? Good morning, Scotty boy. Brian, good morning. Brian's just joined us. I could probably stay up all day, guys, and talk to every single one of you beautiful TikTokers. But we have to go because it's just coming up to 7 o'clock and uh, Scotty McClure has to disappear and uh, start the day. Yes, yeah, start the day job big style. So there we are. I can't thank all of you enough. It's been a privilege and an honour to be with you this morning. Brian, lovely to hear from you. Have a good day, Scotty. Thank you, Tristan. Yes. And uh, Brian, please uh, give my fondest regards to Pat. Uh, tell him. I'm asking for him and a big dinky do 11,000 likes. Just about to turn seven o'clock. That's when in days gone by, Scotty McClure would have said, 11K, Leslie. Have a good day, Scotty. Thanks, Tristan. That's when Scotty McClure would have said, um, I'm just watching for it. God bless you and all you do, Scotty. Much love, my dear. Thank you. Good for us. The time is seven o'clock. Here is the news. Dinky do.